Hi everyone, it's me Laura and welcome back to my channel. So today is final I'm finally getting around to doing my August favourites video. Um I kinda didn't know what I was going to actually do for my August favourites because it's kinda like I didn't want to show you everything that I've bought in the past month because it featured it in my Glasgow shopping haul video and I thought there was no point in redoing that practically redoing that video. So I'm gonna kick it off to something that I did buy at the end of last month. I did mention it I think in my July haul video but I thought because I hadn't actually started reading it until August I thought I'd mention it and it is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Now I, I haven't finished reading this yet. I know I've had it for over a month and I haven't finished reading it. Mainly because of life and I haven't actually sat down really that much to read. I've done other things when I sat down I've like yeah so I haven't which, to be fair, what, where I've got to at the minute now, I am in Act 2, Scene 11, I'm on that chapter. I like it so far. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody else. I have, unfortunately, read spoilers, so I do know what happened. I'm, I'm not looking forward to reading that part of it because I know I'm not going to like it. Um, mainly because I think it's just what... I think I'm asking the question of what on earth? Why? You know, uh, yeah. So... So far so good. I like Scorpius as a character. Scorpius? Yes, yeah, Scorpius as a character. I think he's a great character because I hate it. I hate Draco, so, you know, I'm, so I do like him. I find him very lovable. Ron? What on earth has she done with Ron's character? Like, I'm not, Ron would be in my top 10 favourite characters anyway, but why has Ron replaced Fred and George as the comic relief? I don't get it. Like, there's things that Ron are saying. I'm like, no, that's the thing Fred and George would say. Don't have Ron over. Like, I know Ron went on to work with Weasley's Wizard Weezes, but he didn't invent the, the Skype and Snack Boxes. Like, why is, like, Ron getting all the credit for, like, we Wizard Weezes? And why is Ron, like, taking over the comic relief from Fred and George? It just doesn't. That really bugs me because Fred and George are my favourite characters. They're mentioned a few times, but they don't actually, like, George isn't actually a character in the book which pisses me off because out of all the characters in the Harry Potter verse George is the one who I want to know mo most about after the war so why is George being completely forgotten about why is George's kids not even being mentioned because he's supposed to be married to Angelina and have two kids by now so fair, especially if Ron and Hermione kids are all like at Hogwarts where George's kids so I don't know that's one of my pet hates like I could go into a full blown ramp but that would go into spoiler ter territory and I want to read the rest of it before I even do a video on that if I decide to because I can run for Britain so yeah Cursed Child I got it from Waterstones for a tenner by the way keep on with the Harry Potter theme I have two books and the first one is another colouring book like I need it a colouring book because I have so many of these now but this is the second Harry Potter one I own and this is the Magical Places and Characters colouring book I don't like the creature one I just don't really like it. I don't really like the colouring pages in it. I do like this one. Um, <clears throat> I got this for £5 off Amazon. Which is really good because it's like a tenner in other shops. And there is one picture in particular in this I'm really happy about. If I can find it. So bear with me a second. Nope, not that one. Well, where is it? I don't even want to colour this in. I just want to have it. Like, to have. I cannot find this picture. Maybe in the diagonal alley, but it's aha! This one! Yay! Fred and George are in this! Look! I am so happy that they are being featured in this because so many times Fred and George are completely left out of everything. Like, I have poster magazines, poster books of Harry Potter, and Fred and George aren't even in it, which really bothers me. Anywho, let's do the ranting again. Another book I have is the next one in these collections. And it is the Artifacts Vault book. And I have the Creature, the Locations and the Character one. So this is the next one in the collection. It's a thick book. And it's heavy. This is £10 off Amazon. And it, re it retails at £24.99. So I also have a film as book on this as well. I just need to get page to screen. And my screen just stopped. That was really weird. I use my webcam, by the way, on my laptop. And it just sort of like flickered there. I was like, ooh, weird. So there we go. Um, 
I haven't had a really a chance to look through this yet. So I haven't. That like there's the page on the quibbler. That was really weird because I missed the original copy of the quibbler thingy. The one with this that one that Lynn is holding. So that is that book. Moving on now to my beauty item. I uh, like you know I don't do beauty very often. Like I'm just I don't even know. I just don't do beauty very well. I like doing my well I makeup I wear now is the makeup I wear on a daily basis. I don't contour, I don't do my eyebrows, I don't I just don't bother with that crap. It's just too much effort for my liking. Anyway, I also speaking of beauty, I have a very important video that I am planning to do, um but I'm not gonna go into that. It's not beauty based as such, but it's to do with something that and I will obviously like I'm planning it first because it's something I want to plan and I plan ahead and write little notes for stuff so that when I go to film it I don't get confused or whatever. So the first item I have is a Boots Tea Tree Witch Hazel Peel Off Face Mask and these were two for a pound in Boots and it's just in that sort of packet. I don't usually go for a face mask but I thought I'll give this a go. It deep cleans and tightens pores and helps to remove blackheads. Because I noticed I had a few blackheads and stuff. I've got hiccups by the way as well. And um, I have really bad skin. I and I have like a lot of scarring and I'm prone to spots, so I just thought I'd try it. Um it did do the job. I have another one I have from Avon, but like I said, I don't really use them very often. I try not to use a lot of like different stuff on my skin just because I am so prone to spots. And I don't want to irritate it even more than it probably is. Anywho, another item is foundation. And this is, I'm not sure of the actual name of this brand, but it's from B&M Bargains and it was 2 dollars And it's high definition camera ready foundation and it's in the colour buff. Now, I use the Snatch Collection Tinted Moisturiser on my skin. And then I use a little bit of this. I do not cake my foundation on just because I don't like the feel of it. I hate heavy makeup on my skin. And then I use my natural collection powder on top of it. This is like literally like it's not any darker than my skin. It doesn't feel heavy on it and it just I think it just gives me just a little extra bit of cover. Not and I don't try to like full cover up like I don't like heavy makeup, so yeah, it does the job for two ninety nine. Like I don't put big money into expensive foundations. Like I could not justify putting twenty five quid into a designer brand. I just think it's pointless for me, and it will last me a lifetime. So the last beauty item I have, and I can't remember if I put this in my July video or not, but it is a Rimmel London lip lipstick to yeah Rimmel London. That's the name of it. I'm not even going to try and say that. And it's 16R Kiss Proof Lip Colour. And it's in Little Minx. When I first read that, I thought it said Little Minx. Um, and it's like a really nice pink. Now, I put this on one day I was going to work. And it lasted. Now, I was starting work at half twelve. I was still wearing this at nine o'clock at night. And I had eating a subway, I had had my tea, I had drunk, like it stays on. And um, you do maybe have to top it up, but th my dad even turned around and said to me, that, why are you wearing lipstick? And I was like, because it's not coming off. It does come off eventually, like if you use makeup wipes to take off. It lasts. And so we put the pink on first. I'm not going to put it on because like I say, it lasts forever. And I'm hoping to put my pyjamas on very shortly. And then you put the clear side up the other side. And it works. And it stays in place, like I was able to drink and it didn't leave lipstick marks on the cup and things that got there. Like if I kissed my hand, just you know, to test it, didn't come off. It's worth it. It was £2 out of the original factory sh shop. But I think you can get it in semi chem and stuff when it's like £6. But I got it for cheap and it does the job. I guess I don't wear it very often. Very odd times. Moving on now to my two Disney purchases. And the first one is a set of earrings I bought from Primark when I went to Glasgow and it is these just silver Disney earrings. They are a subtle way to wear subtle way to wear Disney, not that I do subtle wear of Disney. It's kinda like my necklace if you can see it. 
it's out of, that one was out of Asda, I think, for a fiver, but these are three for two fifty. And I really like these. I, ha I haven't put them in because I wanted to do the video. Um, but I just wear studs anyway. So two fifty for three pairs of earrings, I think, are really good value. And if you don't want to wear full blown Disney like I do, they're quite cute. And I wear my hair down, so you don't really see my earrings anyway. The next Disney item I have is a handbag I bought, and it's in my Glasgow haul video as well. And it was nine pound from Primark in Glasgow. I used it today. I don't use it every day because I use my day-to-day -day handbag, which is much bigger and carries everything but the kitchen sink in it. But I just thought I'd throw this on today, just stick a few items in it. And it's navy, and Nikki's on there. And it's got a little strap, and I just do it, wear it like this. Ta -da. Does the job, and actually, like, it fits quite a lot. Like, I have my yeah. purse in there, and lip balm. I had my car keys, my house keys, and my work keys in there. I had tissues in there so it fits quite a few things uh -huh. and I love it. I don't like the fact that Mickey shorts are yellow though they're meant to be red. But anyway, last Disney item is my duvet cover. Now I did show this in my haul video but I want to show you the pillow now when it's, it's I have on my bed. It is the Disney Team Good versus Team Bad and I have a Disney Team Good set. Here we go, Team Good and I'll show you Team Bad. Team Bad. I am Team Good so I have the princess is on yeah. mine, yeah. and the other side has got the villains on there. Although Cruella, Cruella de Vil looks really creepy. She freaks me out a little bit, but I like it, and it's pink, so it matches my room. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is something I did a couple of weeks ago. I went to Port Rush, which is a local seaside town in Northern Ireland. I stayed down for three nights with my niece Zoe, my cousin Karen, and her two kids. And on the Sunday, we went to a place called Jump Lanes. Now, Jump Lanes is in Coleraine. As far as I know, it's near the Coleraine Football Club ground. And it's an indoor trampoline place. Um, I'd never been to any of them before, so I didn't really know what to expect. And I really enjoyed it. We got that we were on for an hour, I think. Not too sure about prices, because I didn't. my cousin paid for it. Um, I think we went on as a family of four. So there's me and Zoe, and then my two little cousins. And... It was 20 some odd pound I think so it was really good I did pull a muscle in my leg though um which hurt so I couldn't really move for a few uh, for a few minutes my leg was cramped up so I couldn't actually jump for a foot I couldn't even like straighten my leg out I did manage to do a somersault and I'm going to insert a video right now Mason, Mason, go over beside the girls. Right, everybody look over. Wave. Right, jump. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I inserted it in my video, that's why I had to pause it because my webcam has to like so I have to refilm another video but I still love the edit it together. It was really good fun. and um, they're like ten lanes of ten different trampolines and you can bounce about and do whatever and they're they, they give you like footballs and stuff to kick about. You have to be over five though to do it. You're not allowed to wear jeans either, you have to have socks on. So I just wore jogging bottoms and a t shirt. It is quite warm in there, so like would be lighter clothing would be good but I really I did I enjoyed it Um, they also in that place they also do like indoor football and stuff so there is like they do birthday parties and stuff in there so it's good fun and the last thing I'm going to talk about is my day trip to Glasgow I went on the 20th of August with my friend Lindsay her friend Lois and my niece Zoe and we got the boat from Belfast to Ken Ryan and then there was a coach there to take us to Glasgow and it was eighteen pound each return. So the boat was two and a half hours, and then we had two hours on a coach at to, to Glasgow, and we had about four hours shopping in Glasgow. It's good fun. It's a good day out. It's a very long day. There is a lot of travelling involved. Like there is 
you're on a boat for five hours in total, you're on a coach for four hours and it's an hour from where I live to Belfast. So it's a long day but it is good and you, you don't get a lot of time in Glasgow, you get, if you're just going shopping it's fine but, and I did see a lot of like, a lot of Rangers fans were over there for the match. So they would obviously use that for football matches and stuff and also you can do the trip to M&D theme park I think as well. I thought it was really good value though, £18 return is so good for like to go to Glasgow for a day. It's just, it is a long day um, if, and I, I would recommend it though if you're stuck you know in the summer in the holiday, school holidays for something to do. Um, but just, it is long um, and I did enjoy it, I just didn't enjoy the rain. It rained for us so it did which was a bit sad, but other than that it was fine. Um, I got to go to Primark, I got to go to the Disney store, which was really cool. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. There is different different like day trips and stuff they do on the Cineline website, so get have a wee look. And yeah, if you're Scotty from Scotland or England, you can do a return day trip to Belfast or Northern Ireland. Um, if it interests you, you know, being from Northern Ireland, I don't really see the fascination. Not doing well for not, I'm not good at promoting our company, am I? But anyway, um, but yeah, so that's all I've got to talk about. Like I said, I'm planning a video, um, so I'm going to plan that. I don't know when I'm going to get it filmed. Um, it's one of those videos that I really want to plan, so I do. Um, I want to kind of, my battery's running though. So I definitely want to plan it in a fat planet and I want to kind of put it out into sections as well so before I do it because it's a, diff a bit of a, it's not a whole video, it's not, it's a, basically it is a chatty video, I'm not going to be showing any items or anything like a favourites video, it's not being one, it's not a video of me answering questions either, so it's not, so it is going to be it's a, a chatty video for me which I've never really done, it's not really me, it's hard to explain, basically it's me talking about something I've been through so yeah it's not too personal either um but yeah something it's sort of I read to do with something I read on Facebook quite recently so that will be up on my channel at some point so thank if you've watched this and listened to me rambling on thank you for watching and if you've read Cursed Child or you've seen Cursed Child in London please let me know what you think of it um, like I say, I, am, I have liked it up to where I'm re up to so far, and I just know that the rest of it, I'm not going to be like, ugh, why you did this? So, but yeah, I'll hold judgment fully until I finish reading it, which might I might have it finished by the time I do my September favorite. Who knows? So that is me. I'm going to shush now because I have rambled on so much today, and I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.